Schwalm Eder County has about 180,000 inhabitants and is located in northern Hesse. For many years now, the county has made linking efficient energy supply and environmental education its mission. The district and many local stakeholders renovated a former caretaker's house, turning it into a low-energy passive house and a model house for renewable energies and sustainability. More than 100 cooperation partners contributed to planning, financing and realizing the project, or they now use the technology house. Undertaking the energy-efficient renovation of an existing building and converting it into an educational facility requires everyone to work together. That includes planners, skilled craftspeople and everyone else involved. Competitors very quickly become true cooperation partners who support one another, learn from one another and quickly reach a mutual understanding. The Energy Plus Technology House is on the grounds of the Radko Stockel Vocational School in Melsungen. The energy efficient renovation of the former caretaker's house was a cooperative effort between various regional enterprises, craft businesses and vocational school pupils and teachers. They have created a lively spot where experts and citizens can learn and gather information and where various energy sources, supply systems and building components are presented. Moreover, each room is individually outfitted. For example, the house has various windows that are suitable for passive homes, ventilation systems, thermal insulation and heat generation systems. To demonstrate various modes of energy generation, various systems were installed from the start. This is the house's central heating area. Three different heating systems are presented here. One of them is a small CHP plant with a gas boiler unit to heat single-family homes and to simultaneously generate power. We also have a gas absorption heat pump installed in this room that uses a solar system to achieve a very high rate of efficiency. And to present a system using renewable energies, we also have a wood pellet boiler. A building management system in the entryway visualizes all energy flows in the building and allows users to control them. New media is also employed for information transfer. During renovations, short films of the workers were made explaining the building materials, their fabrication and their advantages or disadvantages. The videos can be downloaded to any smartphone. During planning for the house, but especially during its construction and now that it is in use, pupils from the Radko Stockel Vocational School have been intensely involved. In addition to lending a hand, they were tasked mainly with documenting the project. Thanks to them, the implemented measures can be reconstructed for future trainees. Today, the Technology House has four seminar and two technology rooms, so talks and informational events can be offered to various target groups. During the building phase, trade businesses and manufacturers held assembly seminars on various materials and technologies. The utilization concept for this building is very wide-ranging. We primarily use it ourselves for the training and advanced education of specialists here in the region. So it is an educational facility. But it is also an off-site educational facility for other institutions that use it. These can be kindergartens, primary schools and adult education centers who come here to hold events. Yet experts use it as well. Architects and planners meet here to hold events. Compared to a conventional educational building, the Energy Plus Technology House saves roughly 12 tons of CO2 a year. However, its actual value for climate action is certainly much higher, as what is learned in the model home can be used in everyday life. <laughs>